What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Got my friend Boomer here with me. What's up? And he invited me to come to a very special place. A place that, you know what? It's where it all started. A couple of years ago, wanting to do some different vlogs here and there. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start trying to go and do paranormal investigations or just starting to explore haunted places, historical places. And the place that I'm at right now is where it all started. One of the most haunted and creepiest places that I have ever been to. And this place is, is quite captivating. It has a lot of history. Today, we're going to try to find something here that I've always wanted to find. I'm not sure if we're going to find it. I've never really tried that hard to. And it's to find a KKK slaughterhouse. Now, if you didn't know, the Spring Hill Cemetery here in Brooksville is actually an all African American cemetery. Across the street is a Civil War cemetery. I've done a video there before. Now, the stories connected to the cemetery is that they used to hang some of the slaves back in the days here, and then they would bury them here. Now, there's actually people till this day still getting buried at the Spring Hill Cemetery. And a celebrity. There is a celebrity here that is buried here. I'll explain more of that in a second. But I haven't been here in a really long time, let alone during the day. I've only been here during the day maybe like twice. So if you've never seen this place during the day, you get a better look at it. And we're gonna explore not only the cemetery, we're not really gonna explore the cemetery a whole lot, but we're gonna try to find this shed that supposedly the KKK used to meet and they would slaughter people in this shed. So I, I really hope that's not true, but if this shed does exist, we're gonna find out exactly what kind of shed it is and what's in it. Cause I hear that there's some stuff in there pointing to the KKK. So I'm not sure if they killed anybody there, but it's definitely KKK related and we're gonna try to find it. So let's go. Uh, during the nighttime, this is one creepy road. It's like you can't just get back and you're, you're at a cemetery. Like it's, yeah. it's like this really creepy road. One way in, one way out and two cars are coming. Forget about it. You gotta like move that. Looks like they fixed it up a little bit. The road is a little better. Dude, I've seen figures here, like full. I've seen shadows. Yeah. Shadow figures. Full shadow figures, weird shadow figures, not like normal. They say that right before sundown, you can see what looks to be like a creature hanging from a tree, like almost like they- A creature or a person? A person or a person or a creature or whatever it is. No. Anyways, this is what the road that we just went on, that's what it did look like. Yeah. Just to give you an idea. Now this cemetery is very much protected by the police and stuff. I mean, it's 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 really bad what people have gone back here and, and done in the past. There was an incident back in the day where somebody came here and dug up some of the graves of, you know, this dug up some of the bodies and they would take their skulls and they would take like some of their personal belongings and they even destroyed some of the headstones and stuff and they believed that it was motivated by like you know racism and things like that and the community came together and i'm going to show you here in a second and they redid some of the headstones to some of the people that had passed away and that are resting here and I don't know, that's that was that's pretty horrible that somebody would do that it's one thing to visit a cemetery and you know, maybe do some ghost hunting and stuff like that. I mean, this is a popular ghost hunting spot. Think about how the families feel. You know, well, let's think about if one of your family members was was dug up and, and somebody took their skull or something like that. Like That's what they were doing. I'm not sure where in the woods this shed is. They say it's really close to the Spring Hill Cemetery. I'm going to show you around the cemetery. And I did bring my drone i'm gonna take that up in the air in a little bit i don't know maybe we can get a visual of where it's at what do you think that sounds like a good idea i'm hearing a noise like a bird let's get out we always hear noises here it doesn't matter if a place is haunted it's going to be haunted during the day too so we're going to check it out yeah that nighttime doesn't mean anything you know that this is where i met patty yeah i know that my very first haunted video at the spring hill cemetery that's i actually met patty it go back and watch that video it's it's on Omar Gosh TV. It's not on this channel, but it's on Omar Gosh TV. And it's it's amazing. It's it's a really good that was one of my very first haunted like. I love that. It's been a long time since I've been here and it's kind of broke my heart seeing this. But there's a four-month-old baby that was buried there just about a year ago exactly. And I never seen that. I guess I hadn't been here in that long. Now I came here with Mo and we found a Ouija board. Somebody had it like in the tree or something. Bro, I wouldn't mess with that. Don't yeah, even touch that. Don't even touch. Oh, look, it's Stranger Things. 
Right, that's the headstone that I told you. It looked like somebody might have destroyed it recently. Dude, look at this. What? There's some cowboy boots here. Okay. Oh, yeah. And a broom. A broom? Yeah. Maybe they clean it off or something. Why would you leave it here, though? I mean, maybe it was whoever was buried here, their boots. Here's the headstone that got messed up. That's a pretty new headstone, too. That's messed up. I mean, it could have been a tree root, but I don't know. Yeah. Somebody tried to fix it. That's not too new. That's been here since the 70s. Well, sometimes that's when the person was buried, but they'll put a new headstone. A new headstone. Maybe that's what's going on there. If you ever look up the Spring Hill Cemetery, one of the most iconic parts of it is the grave that I'm going to show you right now. And it's, it's very strange because there's a doll that's there on a rocking chair with its eyes closed. Every time I come, there's always something new. I've actually left toys at this little girl's grave we've had a lot of weird things happen here before like we had something i forgot what it was exactly i brought james here and something disappeared right in right in front of us and we ended up finding it like a few feet away so this is the hollywood actor that was buried here oh, yeah. it's actually from this part of florida and you can look him up and see what movies that he's been in i guarantee you've probably seen some of the movies been in movies with like martin lawrence and eddie murphy life yeah he was in life yeah and he was in bad boys was he in Bad Boys? Yeah. He was only in his 40s when he passed away. You know what kind of freaks me out? What freaks you out? Is that we're somewhere where... All right, let, let, let's say everybody here were to come to life. Like, I mean... It, it, you mean like zombies? I mean, no, not just like as people. Like, these are, you know, these are people. Well, of course they are. That are buried here. And, you know, this is... It's a big group of people, what I'm trying to say. And they used to roam the earth just like we are yeah. right now. They used to have dinner with their families and laugh and hurt and love and we're gonna see them one day again let's see the little girl's grave this is it right here oh there's something new there yeah. wow look at all these toys I know. there's more stuff i put that stuffed animal there i put some of my daughter's toys there but that's the doll right there that somebody put a hat on her yeah what's up with that they put a new outfit on her or something mm. she didn't wear that did she she's falling apart <gasps> i'm always hearing stuff over there Ready to try to find this slaughterhouse? Yeah, let's, um, let's go in the woods. A boomer and I are down to get eaten up by some ticks. You know that there's like orange trees in there? Oh yeah, yes, I do know. I've seen them. There's one right there. My very first overnight challenge video, the one the 24 hour overnight challenges were popping, was here at the cemetery. I set up a tent right over there with my friend John and it was his birthday. It was in November of 2016. It was that long ago, but we legit spent the entire night. And I can't believe I did that because I was always terrified to be at a cemetery at nighttime. Completely knocked out my fears, a lot of my fears just doing that alone. They say that these trees right here, you're seeing right, right here, these are the trees that they used to hang some of the slaves back in the day and that's the tree they say that during sundown you can see a figure hanging i've never seen it but i've never been here when the sun went down i'm usually here just in the daytime or at nighttime mainly at nighttime i was just telling them like every time i have to come over here i feel like something's over here maybe the shed's over there whoa uh. dude there's citrus trees all around us look there's one right there there's some oranges right there look another orange tree you know how much these are like imagine digging them up and put them in your yard i know like orange trees are expensive especially big ones like that one reason i'm not bringing my drone up in the air just yet i want to get a good visual plus there's a lot of trees it's going to yeah, be this is kind of hard to it's going to be hard to spot anything from the air we could try i didn't realize how many citrus trees there are i mean it could be some of them could be grapefruits too i, I think that's oranges that's orange Whoa. I heard a voice. Really? And that's my phone. <sighs> Scared the crap out of me. Sorry. It's very important when you do any kind of ghost hunting or trying to get some answers. All right. That you put your phone on silent. Sorry. And of you. course, when you're at the movies or when you're at the restaurant with your family members and your kids. But no, seriously, I did hear it. You, Sorry, just, you just break the tree, man? Yeah. That was my leg. No, I heard a voice. What did it sound like? Like a whisper. Really? Seriously, I'm not, I'm not making that up. <gasps> Bro. What? 
I just heard a whisper too. And then I heard somebody talking right after, like coming from over there. Yeah. If you didn't know, the Spring Hill Cemetery, it's actually in a really haunted part of town too. I've done a video on the road that's right outside of the Spring Hill Cemetery, it's called Fort Dade Road. And that road is haunted on its own. I mean, a lot of weird stuff happens. There's a lady that's, that's seen on that road walking and people have even stopped to help her and she's crying and she disappears right away. And the Billy Mansfield house is on Fort Dade Road where all those murders happen. And I, I did a video at that house too, but they ended up like blocking off and you can't get to the house anymore. So it's, yeah, I've been wanting to go and do a video there as well. But yeah, this uh, serial killer, the serial killer's house. He would get his victims and bury him in his backyard. Oh, wow. Good thing I looked, spider web. You wanna go that way or this way? I don't know. I'm kinda of feeling something that way. But may I'll i I'll go with your your Let's instinct. Go you, man. Let's go with you. Let's go this way. Okay. What's out here? I feel like we're lost now. That KKK slaughterhouse can be anywhere. We don't know where it is. We don't know what direction. I have a feeling this way. Because something's always pulling me this way every time I come here. Somebody actually messaged me and they told me that they were here and they found it. And if that whoever one? that was, message me again. Yeah, please. Please do and let me know. Like if if we end up not finding it, that is. Or message me, whoever. Might have a better chance of getting a hold of Boomer. Yeah. Like, like my you're inbox just, is you're crazy. Just a busy guy. I could barely get a hold of him. He's just busy, guys, with the new house and stuff. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. That's all poison oak you're touching. Is it really? Yep. Are you serious? And you're just touching it right now. Are you serious? That's poison oak, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, great. You're going to break out in hives. We're just still walking around in the woods. Don't so, worry. we're going to try. We're lost. I don't think we're going to find this. No. What? I just heard something. Seriously. Hello? Yo, wait a minute. What's that over there? What? Where? What's. There's something up there. There's a fence. Bro, did we just like walk in a circle? Yeah, we did. Like I said. What the hell? Dude, what the hell? This is not even the, the same part of the cemetery that we crawled in through, though. It isn't? It's not. It's completely different. It's like the side entrance or something. I feel like we're on a like Twilight Zone episode. I'm gonna take my drone up in there. Only thing I'm worried about with my drone is, I mean, there's so many trees. You know, if this, if this shed is out here somewhere and it's a small shed, even if, doesn't matter how big or small it is. I mean, it's going to be covered in trees probably, especially if it's abandoned. You know nature took it over. So I got a bunch of stuff from the woods on me. You heard the voices, right? I heard a whisper. And then, and then I heard, it would sound like a man's voice or when something. When Joe was here, he was over there. He heard like some ritual going on. Ritual? Like seriously, like a f***ing rit, like. I heard it. You heard it too? Uh-huh. Stop on. I don't know what it is. I told you, this place is really freaking haunted. There was a time I was here too, where I heard like baby noises. It sounded like a, wasn't that, it was like a baby crying in the woods. And that's something that has been confirmed. Like if you, you know, one, one thing that I liked about getting into these kind of videos is when you go online and read about places that are haunted. You, you hear about people's stories and experiences there. And that's what I wanted to see. And of course, like some of the stories here are legit. I mean, I haven't seen the person hanging from the tree, but I have seen other things. I seen a figure right back here. One, and it looked like somebody was wearing like a, like almost like a KKK outfit. So this is one of the headstones that were destroyed at one point. I don't know if this is where the, the person, you know, was dug up and maybe they were, they were put back like in the future. You could see the at rest Delaney and then right there. Yeah, somebody's coming up here. Right. Come and talk to us, we don't know. I've seen this truck here before. I think I, I think I know who this is for real. I am so happy that my buddy Boomer is so like friendly and he likes to talk to everybody. I, <laughs> I get a little scared because I just don't know. I don't know if people are starting to tr start trouble, but those happen to be the guys that help maintain this place and they just gave us a really cool history lesson. Yes. So come to find out, the tree that I thought they used to hang the slaves was not the tree. It was actually this tree. This is the tree where they would hang the slaves. And I mean, it makes more sense because, you know, like this branches. Missing it, right I here. It was that one in front of us. No, he said it was this one. I thought, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he said it was this one. And 
check this out remember the shed that we were talking about the kkk slaughterhouse shed he actually told us that it does exist and it's right in that area we were real close we were walking over there so it's on the opposite side i'm gonna take my drone up he said that there's a road that you see and about a half mile down that road is this shed and a lot of people won't even go near it because so many slaves were murdered inside this shed i'm not sure if we're gonna find it on the drone but and I'm not sure, I don't even have time to go look for it today, but we're gonna, I'm gonna go see if that, if, if I at least see the road, then we're, we're getting, we're getting close. He's been to it, he knows it exists. I always thought that it was a myth. And of course, somebody reached out to me online and they said that they seen it. And I, I didn't believe them, you know what I mean? Cause I've never seen it. All right, so correction, it wasn't that tree, it was this tree. I was just told right now too, that they don't know how many bodies are actually buried in that area. Cause from what I was told, right after hanging some of the slaves, they would just open up holes right by the tree and just bury them right there. Yeah. And so there's a couple, I mean, th this whole area right there, like there's tons of bodies. Like they're just- Tons of history, man. I mean, but I mean, think about how terrible that is. I mean, slaves, you know, I mean, it's like, it's bad enough that their, their life was that crappy and they just, they would torture them and, and kill them. You know, just it, people. You know, like like human beings. People are just, people are just terrible, man. Like, I, 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 so, I mean, I don't want to say I hate people, but I've lost faith in society sometimes. So I'm glad we're past those days. Well, you know? We're past them, but you know, just got to be good to each other, man. Another thing we were told, and I didn't know that. See, this is all limestone right here, and there was a company, I guess, not far from here. And they would bring these big trucks and they would run over some of the graves too and they had to fix a lot of them so that's that's another thing that would happen here but the company wanted to buy this whole piece of land here dig up all the bodies and relocate them and they stopped them from doing that because this whole area right here is very rich in limestone you know for money so they were going to dig up all the bodies and then get the limestone here what what do they use limestone i mean i guess it's for I gardening to... i mean it has there's a, lot, a of, lot of things they use it for, man. It's probably some money, but it's terrible that they wanted to do that. Yeah. It must be worth that much, but... Anyways, I got the drone right here, and we're going to take it up in the air and see if we could find that road up ahead. And if we do find it, I'm going to come back maybe in the next couple days, and we're going to find... We're going to find that shed, yeah. and we're going to do an overnight challenge there. So the lady that they took over from, you know, like, because they're... What do they call them? Like, grave keepers or uh, yeah uh, groundskeepers groundskeepers or whatever so there was a, an old woman uh, african-american older woman and she used to come back here and clean the place up this woman wouldn't ever go even close to that road because of all the history and all the murders that was happening in that shed like she wouldn't even go near the shed and it's still back there and i'm dying to see what's in there let's go fly though let's do this i'm not going to be able to do these real pretty drone shots that you're used to couple reasons it's not reading my SD card and I'm having a lot of issues with the drone it took me about 10 15 minutes just to set it up and I've had a lot of electronic problems coming here to the Spring Hill Cemetery batteries dying things like that you can see my battery that was at hundred percent charge it's at 48 percent right now and I haven't even I just turned my drone on right now so holy crap we're gonna take it up in the air and I'm gonna show you the screen that's the best we can do right now because it can't record There we are, right there. Okay, I got it. All right, so, so according to the groundskeeper, that slaughterhouse is right over here. There's a road. Oh, there's the road. I can actually see it right yeah, there. I see the road, yeah. That's it right there. So he said it's a half mile up that road, which would be. Well, let me see. Let me take this up. Whoa! Don't want to crash. Wait a minute. Is that it? Where? It's actually closer than we think, maybe. Oh, it's a lot closer. That's definitely a road, but I don't see anything. I see a big field. Why would he lie, though? No, he wouldn't lie. Like, I could tell when somebody's lying. It's it got to be right, right here somewhere. It has to be in the woods there somewhere. Shoot. Damn, that would have been a nice shot right there. But I don't got an SD card. I mean, it, there is a nice SD card, but it's not reading it. Oh, what is that? What is yeah, that? What is that? I just saw something. I'm looking through the camera, so. There, what is that right there? I think you found it. No, that looks like a... Oh, they say that people go back there and sleep and stuff, too. I don't know, maybe... Maybe that's a tent or something? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we're going to have to go back. But, I mean, at least we found the road. At least we know where it is. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Bring this guy down. I only got 26% battery left. Come to Papa. All right, fam. Say goodbye to Boomer. Okay, sorry. Boomer left a little bit ago. He had to go caca. Just kidding. He didn't have to go caca. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just something kind of quick that I wanted to put together for you. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna go back and try to find that KKK shed. I just found this out a little bit ago too. Supposedly it's a red colored shed. Boomer told me that when he was talking to the gentleman, the groundskeeper, he told him that the color of it was red. Wish I would have known that because I would have been looking for something red in the sky. We're probably gonna go back next week. Gotta wait for Boomer because he's gonna be off. We're gonna go in the next couple of days. I will have that video available to you. I hope that we can find it. That's gonna be cool. All right, fam, that's gonna conclude today's video. Thanks again for being a part of my day. I gotta go for now. But before I leave, give me keys.